discuss basic aggregate functions in PLA scale. So I'll be discussing five functions, sum, average, count, max and mean. So therefore this I am taking two tables. One is employee master, I'm giving him 10 alias of A and taking two field, employee MP underscore code and MP underscore name. And the second table is employee underscore salary and the alias is B and the two field are P month year and cross pay. So first we will just uh, look into go to the table. So, so this is the table and this is these are the fields uh, employee and imp underscore code imp underscore name p month p underscore month underscore year and gross pay. So alias is A for uh, employee master and B for employee salary. So as you can see, A dot EMP code and B A dot EMP name is from employee master and B dot P month year and B dot cross pay is from employee salary. Now what we will do? We will be getting the sum of gross pay for a particular month. So I'm just copying this and we'll add the aggregate function some aggregate function here and give it an alias name of the same as cross pay as see uh, when you are getting the uh, sum giving uh, when, you, when you are retrieving the aggregate uh, applying aggregate function to a particular field so and if you add uh, other fields from that uh, so you have to make it call the group by clause with this otherwise you will not suppose I if I run this query what will happen suppose we run this query so it will give me an error not a single group group function so you have to add the group by clause to because when you are when I'm adding group, adding group by EMP code, EMP name, and P month year, I'm actually getting the sum of the gross pay, EMP code, EMP name, and P month year wise. So it is not worth it because every row, each of the record consists of gross pay of every employee for every for May month year. So I'll just get the gross pay of all the employees of, uh, for a particular month so if you want to get the uh, gross pay sum of gross pay of all the employees for a particular month you have to remove this two field as well as remove it from here so if I group it by pay month year and get the sum of gross pay it will give us all so total gross pay of a particular month so I'm just adding this pardon okay so this is the suppose in May 2009 it is 2779 258.53 now just get to the here and add one clause as a and p dot pay month year equal to what is 05009 So we will just check the sum value from here and see whether it's come the same as we have calculated here. So we are expanding the records and selecting this if, I, if you have used, uh, used PLSQL developer and column totals I will go and select the sum and it is 2779258.53. So this is the sum. Then the next one is we will going to each of all the employees getting salary for a particular month, month wise. So I am just changing this and the average function is AVG. So select this one and we will again move here and paste it here. The same problem. 
So as you can see on January 2009 it is 2036.18 so I will just add a round function to get rid of all these decimal places and put it to decimal place and again run the query. So it is 2297.06 on 11 2010. So let's uh, just add one order by and because it is a string so we have to if you order it by string it will not give give as because string does not understand any date format so see it's giving 0120090120010 so we'll just add a two date function and because the format is mmrrr so we'll be adding let's just add it here my playlist table is a bit slow so it is ordered by just adding the by pay month here and to date m r r r r just copy this one now it will be ordered by date so uh, now we will check uh, take a particular month and just check it uh, take the value and check it on by uh, the records where we have will be filtered by month 213.52 on September 2008 so we will be adding September 2008 and see what the result comes expand it then select it and just go to the column totals and take the average just expand the column again getting the total value 2133.521.52 to 2133.52 this is the average so let values count we'll apply the count function same count function on this just copy I need to copy this one and paste it and in place of sum I will be placed with this count it will give the total number of employee whose payment has been made on a particular month uh, just changing it to count C and T say so 1 to 7 1 on September 2008 so let's see and don't need to change the month because the month is already 1 to 7 1 you can see 1 to 7 1 so this is the count function okay, getting payment year wise total number of employee the next one is we have two function one is max and one in mean so getting the we will get the maximum the employee has got the maximum salary on a particular month so setting the max uh, max and just change it to max cross pay 117740 so let us check it here and we will just make it order by gross pay DSC so if you do it in descending order see this is the first maximum gross pay it is ordered by gross pay in descending order so this is the maximum gross pay on 2000, September 2008 which is 1174 7740.400 so in the same way we will just check the minimum and make it mean gross pay i has been missed out okay so in september 2000 it's 86 so i'll just remove the dsc and make it in ascending order so we'll get the first sc 86 it's 86 on 
September 2008. So these are the aggregate functions as you can see. We can also get more things. Suppose we are going, let us get the minimum salary got by an employee as we have done in with pay month here. We will just do with something else. We will get the sum of the employees gross pay. Total sum of employees gross pay. Not month wise but employee wise. A dot EMP code. A dot EMP name. So as well I will group it by EMP code and EMP name and order by EMP code. So I will get the total gross pay of an employee. Okay. Comma. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's just, just make it some relevant. I will add to one field if you don't mind. EMP grade equal to S. I will just get this staff's total salary. Suppose this one is 001. This is the total salary of it. So I will just go here and remove this and make and a dot EMP code equal to S001. So this is what done and just take link and take it into total summation 5246560 five, 5246560 five, five, as you can see I have got the employees employee was total salary the employee total salary in the table the total in salary and all employee got in all the months total month here you can do so we I can do the same thing with some average we will check see okay again round one one two seven nine six point five four point eight eight so again I will go here and check it the average one two okay expand it one two seven nine six four point eight seven so if you round it it will it, same thing will come here so just let us see with other things just average have been done so count how many records of an of the employee is there so I'm just remo not removing the round one this forty one so let's check the count here okay it's 41 I can also check with more employees but I, I just want to make this video don't want to make it too long and you feel tired of watching the video so max also we are going with the max 1 to 4 so this employee got to the maximum salary one four two four zero zero. I hope I have got this salary. Oh my God! So max one two four four zero zero one four two four zero zero. Just uh, check it with the minimum one one seven seven four zero one one seven seven four zero. So you can see uh, how we have gone through this uh, five basic aggregate functions and uh, how we have to group to it uh, we can also show some show something show you something else suppose uh, here we have done with a uh, pay month here okay so suppose we are getting the uh, just I will show you one having clause I mean okay max so this is the max salary on a pay month here okay 
not going to do it much of the max. We just going with the sum. I need some different value. Now we are going having sum of. Okay, let's just do it here. Where is the payment here? Okay, so group by payment here having. Uh, just copy this one. Where where have we done this? Yes, having sum of gross pay. Mm, less than equal to one lakh, ten thousand one lakh. Now we will run this. The name is missing. No one. Two lakhs. No one. Two lakhs is also not there. Two lakh twenty thousand. Still not there. Okay, let us check. Wow, what are the possible values? Okay, two lakh fifty thousand. Make it two lakh fifty thousand. Is there any value? No, two lakh seventy thousand. So we are making suppose two lakh seventy thousand. So if we make two lakh seventy thousand, say two lakh eighty three thousand, the fourth record it will not come. For fifth record, sixth record, they will not come. Still not coming. What's the problem? Okay, make it two lakh eighty thousand. I hope now it will not. I think my eyes is really having some problem. It is twenty eight lakh, not two lakh eighty thousand. It, it will kill me. They will get if you if you just see that this is the total salary paid on a person month two lakh eighty thousand. So it's two lakh seventy thousand is here. Uh, twenty I mean sorry twenty seven lakhs is here. So see this is the two month only two month which has got uh, where the payment is less than two twenty seven lakhs. So we we'll just make twenty seven lakh uh, twenty eight lakh. Okay see that see these are the thing these are the fields. So. Twenty-eight lakh, twenty-nine lakhs. So uh, this is a having clause. A having clause. What it does? You can use uh, aggregate function condition in a having clause, which you cannot uh, always. Uh, it sometimes it 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 always does not work. Uh, when you are using a group by clause, you are having that you cannot use <coughs> some or any aggregate function in your while condition. And if you get the total sum of salary, and then you can give suppose you select some gross pay from this table, this table, and join it and say where sum of gross pay is less than equal to 29 lakh. But when you are using pay month here, you are grouping using grouping clause. You have to use the having clause to get the condition. So I am just added this having clause. We can discuss more about the having clause in some later videos. So this all about uh, the, the basic aggregate functions will be uh, coming on next video with advanced aggregate functions like analytical functions. Uh, the same thing, sum, average, but on using partition by and all this, uh, which which will give you a more understanding of this uh, aggregate functions. So thank you very very much. Please like hit the like button if you like this video to subscribe to my channel. Uh, which is SUBHRO1976. Thank you very much.